tie the ACC weekend two-step. You've got Princeton New Jack Eldridge, who was the number one face-off man coming out of high school a year ago. The transfer from Virginia takes the opening draw for Penn. And it's Tyler Carpenter off the... On that first midfield, Max Sloat, the redshirt freshman, 15. And now Ben Johnston, who fires a low one. And Carroll comes up with his first save. Players in the country for them on that side of the ball. Penn's smaller this year. Their stick work is an impressive thing to watch. And they really kind of focus on ball movement. Ben Smith with four goals in the win against Albany. Now the freshman, Leo Hoffman. 50 in maroon. Top five recruit, Fury shot, and that's an easy six. Zawada working on the shorty. Denenza from the wing, saved by Carroll. Duke Papendick driven back, and so far this Penn defense holding its own. O'Neal down the alley, another save by Carroll. And O'Connor, McGuire, Gray, and Caputo. Duke has the best quartet of short stick D middies in the country. Here comes Rubin and the trail check from behind by anybody facing Duke this year. You start to probe where can we exploit a matchup. Well, when Duke's got the ball, especially with their top six, it creates a lot of conflict. Who do you pull? Who do you short? McAdory fires. McAdory with the first tally of the game is eighth of the season. He that went to attack now back at the midfield. He is a matchup issue for any defense and gets vacuuming off the ground. Lavelle in transition, slips on the turf. Turf monster. Smith, one more shot to score. Two-way midi, a freshman, and off the scramble, Penn gets even. But in the odd man opportunity, left-handed to the top portion of the cage. McAdory down the alley, scored once against a shorty. Now Zawada's got the short stick. Blasi tries to stay with him. Zawada feeding inside. They call that Green Light Nation. Those two played together at the Hill Academy in Canada. Reunited. Up to get it to Zawada, who has the short stick matchup. And when you're a feeder like Zawada, stick to, to what's gotten you 160 plus goals in your career. Yeah, this guy 34 is okay too. O'Neill had his shot altered. Beecham over to Casey Mulligan. Now it comes back to Walsh. Again. Penn trying to win a matchup in the six on from Lake Forest, Illinois. Johnston dodging against the shorty Palazzi. Feeds to Zawada, doorstep dunk. Wonders <laughs> Zawada, the recipient of that backdoor pass, the nice dip and dunk, getting the third for the Blue Devils. Now one of the elite in all college lacrosse. Chris Arsiri, who got hurt in the season opener against Georgetown, winning the faceoff. Smith cans it. There's that early offense we were talking about before we went to break. And then gets it in transition. And the old school sladink from the outside. The three. Nobody else. O'Neill's got a short stick matchup. There's the slide. O'Neill puts it on cage. And Carroll. Momentum is going towards the sideline. You're going to be less accurate and you're going to lose power. The other piece then is getting your hips and your arms to move at the same time on the mechanics to pull that off. Offsides against Duke, quick restart for Penn, going quickly to Nola in three. All three Penn goals have come in unsettled situations. The easy part of that outcome Second midfield getting some run here for Penn. It's a little mix and match. Shot by Fury goes one of the contest. Making Duke think a little bit in terms of sliding. Right there, nice ball movement. Oh. Now picked up by Brower. He's not going to win that matchup, and he gets rid of it. Not many people do. <laughs> Shipley, spin cycle, shot. Lead of the game, the Weddington... North Carolina native James Shipley. Shipley gets his hands free, and because Duke had expanded on their previous slides, there's no one now to engage him prior to him. He has five saves in the first half, or excuse me, first quarter on track for 20. You can stay in some games with, with, with that type of play in the cage. Fading away, like, that's all you can ask. 
McAdory flips it back to Sloat. Good look, Zawada Cash. Right now, the best offensive player on the field. First step, Penn is sliding. And then Duke is doing a nice job with the one more pass. And so Fury pinballs off of McGuire. And the pass picked off. <laughs> they rode the ball well. And then the University of Virginia is known for their ride as well. Cam Rubin checked by him. So much more than that. Jack Papendick down the alley. O'Neal. Trying to get that left hand in trouble. free. In trouble Gets now. to the middle. Cap Casey Mulligan inverts. Back to Smith. Bouncer offline. Those opportunities because a six on six is going to be tough sledding. Danola got the step on Keith Boyer. Save made by Jamison. Here by Duke. That's four. Boyer couldn't get it across. Here comes Tyler Keel. Let's see right if Penn the goes. The field there. Skip pass. Step down. Duke Penn leads 5-4. Again, chaos breeding opportunity for Penn. Coming in transition after a failed clear. A clear. And right there, we would do bumping two poles up to the, the midfield, right? So they may not be pushing as much in transition. But I think Penn's... And if you're Duke, you need a clear, right? Give it to 23, and that's a straight punt return. So Wada has two goals. Experience, the, the amount of seniors and graduate students they have. The pieces fit so well together. The, the question I have, and they match up very, very well against this Duke Blue Devil team. So to me, there's a lot left to be determined in, in terms of. He had 40 goals two years ago. Feet in front, shot fake, and a score. And Walsh and Penn with its first two-goal advantage of the night. Institution game out of the midfield. And then Tynan Smith with the nice look-away feed. That time it's Anthony McMullen. Duke, though, taking it the other way. McGuire pushing, shoots low, and scores. There's the rope. The seventh goal of his career. But Carpenter causes another turnover, and then McGuire in transition. Felt by Bellarmine, High Point, St. Joe's, and Jacksonville this year. Shot from the wing, Jamison gobbles it up his third save. Hoffman, who's got the ball now, he steps into Hanley's footprints. His dinosaur tracks really on that first midfield. Fury, who's built like Hanley, he makes it 7-5. Gave Fury a couple of years ago. Yeah, it stands tall at six foot five, I'd say. So a little different than the shot he took early in the game. Final few seconds, Shipley missing wide, and the first half comes to an end. Fury skips it, hard shot goes wide. Penn wins against Delaware and U Albany. They lost to Georgetown. Fury, crease feed. That was a big save from Jamison there. Who looks to be settling down. I like his body positioning and his movement in the... He didn't have a the chance. Back end. Tynan Walsh off the field. Walsh. Stepping up. GLE, and then just look at that deception with the... Between these teams... Duke, obviously, huge advantage talent-wise as O'Neal gets downhill, bounces it wide. And they're pushing the number one team in the country to the brink. Here's McAdory, had the short slope. You hit it early in the game. McAdory could be a difference maker tonight. There again, he's just, he can take that shot. But he knows he's That's unsettled. Shane, he wasn't looking at the goal, plays it back to Denola, and it's 9-6, Pennsylvania. The knuckle puck from Luke Denola.
Ben Smith fires on the run. Jamison knocked it down. It's loose near the crease, and Jamison... Penn's got four cause turnovers today. They only average about four per game through the early part of the season. Johnston's got a short stick. Fires on the run. It's not the shot this game in the open. Duke's attack, Penn's defense. Advantage Penn so far. Great ball movement. Walsh, the door steps to four. There's an upset brewing at Koskinen. Game has been all Quakers here in Durham. And just tic-tac-toe passing. Here's Shipley against Wilson. Fury shot. To Zawada has his man hung up. Cat and mouse with Blake. Feeding O'Neal with that goal. He passes his assistant coach, Matt Donowski. As the Quakers are hung up, a nice off-ball cut to the far post. Brendan O'Neill makes that play we talked about. Coming up, Penn's way. Right, we thought coming in this game, Duke had an advantage athletically. It's not proving to be the case in the middle of the cross. Can Duke get early offense? Good look here. Zawada missed it. And Penn. Walls triggers against Wilson. From the outside, off the pipe. And it That's Kumar, the Virginia transfer. And Penn again extends to a four-goal lead. Best shots on this roster from the outside. Let's look at this angle. I mean, picture perfect placement in, in two and a half quarters. He's the best player in the country. Maybe on the planet. Right. Lavelle's been a menace on defense. Forces O'Neal to give it up. Williams shot from the outside. That's an easy. Duke's got it here with 9.2. Can they go quickly? Off the restart. Carpenter all the way. Bouncer Carroll. Sloat running out of the box. Fires with a right hand. Carroll makes the body save. In every game of his Duke career. Hoffman picked up by Bard. 10 to shoot. Shipley down the alley. Jumper. Is he had to beat a double team there in the midfield. O'Neal against Lavelle. Denenza, inside roll, bounce shot. Was he in the crease? And Aiden Denenza with the tally to bring Duke within three. Let's see how there's no one here in the crease to slide. And Denenza with a nice inside roll. Crease awareness <laughs> on paper, that's pretty darn good. And, and on product, it's been really good. Just and not tonight. Product and paper, yeah. Ruben with the right hand, whistles it high. They created that. Six on four for Penn. Three speed. Ben Smith at it again. His third goal of the game. He's got a five-point evening. Simple near side cut. Tynan Walsh. See that subtle head fake? Looking to... Now here's McAdory again, out of the box. Rolling down the alley, puts it past Carroll. McAdory, the speedster for the Blue Devils, gets his hands. Holding there. McLaughlin lost it, Carpenter pushing. He lost it. He playing in his home state. Good look from the wing. Jamison saves it with the chest. On the rebound for the Danola. Junior out of New Jersey. Finds Skane, feeding Shane. Hits the pipe. Ruben clean spire. And that's one of the resets. Right here, off the post. McAdory out of the box. Wheels down the alley, missed the cage. Zawada. Denenza against the shorty. Bouncer with a left. 
his seventh of the season. He scored in every game this year. And Duke within split right to left. The senior from Long Island plants his feet, wait towards the cage. Nelson come down to an overtime buzzer beater by a long pole. Army beating Syracuse in OT. Denenza! And Duke's not going away here with Penn making upset. Look at this placement off the far post. Dyson Williams inside, big save, Carroll. McAdory gets it back. Denenza with his fourth goal, and he is willing Duke back for within one. Have yourself a nice save there from Carroll. McAdory with the smart play to get it to X to Zawada, who can now survey the right away. Keep running Shipley. here, Shipley. Gets out of the now ambush. He's got the empty net if he wants it. Puts it on goal and scores. You okay with that shot on goal? You got Naso and All-American still facing off. Kill the whole period of time, but Shipley's running out of gas here. Right, and so I, I do think you take it, but again, I'm... And Penn has knocked off number one Duke. It's an 18. Brendan Lavelle was marvelous tonight. Penn Quakers on a rainy night in Durham. Score the big win for the Ivy.